It's time for another top five list of Blu-rays. This week, it's horror flicks in HD. And here to fill in this week's list is our very own DIY movie and special effects maven, Film Riot's very own Ryan Connolly. Dude, I gotta ask one question as a Film Riot fan. Yes. The blood. You you spray blood like every chance you get. Absolutely everywhere, yeah. How long does it take you to clean up your house It afterwards? takes a long time, especially because it's a mixture of corn syrup and powder, so it gets pretty sticky. That's just, let's just go straight onto the list. I don't want to think about your house being sticky in the Florida heat. Well. Oh my goodness. Number one on the list. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go, man. <laughs> Number one. An American Werewolf in London. Why? Uh, it is one of the greatest 80s horror films, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Jonathan Landis, amazing director, and the special effects are, for its time, excellent. And great for DIY filmmakers, because there was no CG. It was all just ingenuity on how they did the transformations. They pretty much invented an Oscar for makeup, for the guy who did makeup. Rick for Baker. American. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's and, good stuff. And people bash it now, but I, I still think it stands up. It's great. Could you do it yourself, that level of makeup? No, <laughs> not at all. Not even close. <laughs> Number two. The Shining. Oh. Jack Nicholson, uh, Stanley Kubrick. Excellent, excellent horror film. The perfect, whole, uh, the perfect like build suspense to the Shocker Moments movie, in my opinion. And Stanley Kubrick's best, in my opinion. The cinematography is spectacular. Oh too. my gosh, it was great. Just uh, Kubrick's uh, style of, of symmetry, everything so symmetrical, uh, lends itself to just be so unnerving in this world that just everything is becoming more mad and more mad. And then it gets really sketchy. And then it gets crazy. Number three, never heard of this film. The Orphanage. It is a Spanish film. It's subtitled, so if you don't like to read, you might not like it. But <laughs> it's another great, very Hitchcockian-esque uh, building of suspense to shocker moments. Only has a few shocker moments, but when the shocker moments hit, because of the story, the way it builds, and the character development, when the shockers hit, it, it launches you out of your seat. Number four, one of my favorite comedy duos. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Awesome. awesome Shaun of the Dead, great, great movie. Simon Pegg, and I can't remember the other guy. The big guy. <laughs> the big guy. Uh, excellent movie. It was great. Um, like, I'm not a big fan of the, you know, hostels and stuff like that. It's guts and gore um, just to disturb you, uh, although other people like it, and that's fine. But this is, I, I really like it when it's parody, and this is a perfect example of that. And probably my favorite zombie movie, I would say. I, I, I can And it, I can and it has a great one. throwback to uh, the Romero uh, zombie films, if you can find it. You'll find it. Uh, <laughs> number five on the list. The Descent which is an Australian film. Uh, all female cast and it doesn't exploit women for once, which is kind of What he's saying nice. is there's no topless scenes in it, so don't rent it for that reason, you dirty little whatever you are. Clean it up. Uh, but it's a great movie, and it's a monster movie, but it doesn't just rely on the monsters to terrify you. It also just makes you horribly, horribly claustrophobic as they go down into the caves, and these tiny little caves where they're eking through. Uh, my brother's kind of claustrophobic, so he couldn't even watch some of the scenes. It's, it's extremely So he effective. ran from the room? It basically, like yeah. That, which allowed you to torture him for weeks, I bet. Exactly. Since we never do five, we do many movies because there's too many. Number six on the list. The Signal, which is an excellent indie horror film from Georgia. Uh, it's actually three directors that all wrote and directed their own part of uh, three parts, but it's a it's its own. It has one fluid arcing storyline, which they all kept to. Sounds expensive. Only 50 grand to shoot really? the movie, and they shot on the same camera that we actually use for Film Riot, which is extremely encouraging for you know uh, for do it yourself guys filmmakers because film they were do it yourself filmmakers. They they got the money together themselves and then went to the festival circuit and it got picked up for a theatrical release. They did that with a Canon XL1H. Canon XL1H and a yeah. lens adapter, 50 grand. So ask your parents for 50 grand and make a movie. <laughs> I want to go to college. I want to make a movie. <laughs> yeah. At the other end of the financial spectrum, number seven. Sleepy Hollow, Tim Burton's finest film in my opinion. He's so good at horror, I wish he would do more of it. Just his German expressionistic style is just perfect. Perfect. And he's and, got Johnny Depp. And Johnny Depp, which has been in every movie he's made for the past 10 years. As well he should be. Yes. <laughs> They're a perfect team, so why, why break it? Why fix it? Why fix it if it's not broken? Number eight. Speaking of fixing things that are desperately, desperately broken. From Hell. Scary, sketchy, evil Johnny Depp performance, but in terms of Blu-ray, it looks spectacular, I think mostly because of the cinematography and the color choices. Yes. The Hughes Brothers made this. Hughes Brothers, uh, which is Menace to Society and awesome Desert Presidents. Uh, yeah. So this is a complete departure for them, but a great one, I thought. And, and another one, nothing that's horribly, horribly in your face terrifying, but the whole movie has this just unnerving quality to it from yeah. start to finish, especially with the cinematography and how uh, dark and, and drab it is, and then the colors yeah. come in to even further that. It's if great. you're looking for historical accuracy, you're going to hate this film, but if you want like an unbelievably twisted 19th century Jack the Ripper thing, it's epic. Yeah, And completely. it's scary. Completely. Dude, that was awesome, man.
Thank you. Thank you. If you have not seen it, you need to. More of Ryan and the rest of the Film Riot crew. They are hysterical, they are sketchy, they are scary, and they'll give you tips on how to make your own movies at home, including special effects you probably didn't realize you could do. Check it all out. Revision3.com slash Film It's good stuff.